So chat, what I missed since I've been going since school has been trying to kill me. The League of Legends fighting game? Oh yeah, I did see that while I was on break. We're going to have an interesting conversation about that game coming up soon. So don't worry about that. Some pretty interesting things I want to talk about. But what I do want to take a look at with you guys is the Happy Chaos Starter God that came out. We've seen the reveal trailer and of course the Starter God has to come. I believe the character is coming out in like a day. So let's go and look at the Starter God. So Happy Chaos Starter God. Happy Chaos attack fire. Whoa, what was that normal? That is far slash? Allowing him to attack at any time. Set your sights on the enemy and shoot them down. At the ready. Time to see what type of character he is. readies his gun, transitioning into a state where he can perform fire. When okay. performed with a quarter circle forward slash input. So it seems like it's an auto lock on, like people have thought. As the move comes out. Oh, there's an you attack can with no it. No longer block while the gun is ready. It's unblockable. However. You can perform fire to instantly hit the opponent. Oh, it seems like you can like run away the from it. ends when you run out of concentration. Fire. Interesting. Chaos fires a shot, expending concentration and ammo. As time passes, the sight grows increasingly small. Ah, okay. So the once the concentration gets better, it's harder to run away from. It seems like. After firing, the sight expands, and the accuracy and damage decrease. This move can be performed during most actions, with the exception. Oh my, that looks crazy. But he's he's using bullets and concentration and as he does aim. everything. Chaos steadies his aim. So this is the Even orange the stance we saw before. In his sight. Oh, look how fast the gauge went down. You can perform a more powerful and accurate shot. The slowdown. However, in addition to being unable to block, you also cannot perform jumps movement and some special oh so you can't move it's like elf -El sniper stance quarter circle backslash during the animation allows you to cancel this stance interesting cancel aim cancels at the ready as you okay block i mean that makes sense at the ready <laughs> use this considering you can't block during the stance think an attack is coming that's a weird sweep reload chaos has to reload guns. You can oh, that's faster than I thought, actually. With another move after reloading one bullet. Oh, so you don't have to reload them all. Okay, that's actually really good. Chaos focuses his spiritual energy. Focus. Recovering a certain amount of concentration. Oh, he can get it back quicker. After activation. His concentration will deplete at a slower rate. For a oh, that's going to be really good, especially with like the clone Chaos things that we saw in the trailer, maybe. This process, making it critical to time the usage of this move carefully. That's pretty good. Roll. Chaos rolls so it is a roll that we saw. Chaos can roll behind the opponent during the motion. The motion is also extremely low. Wow, profile. it low profiles they very well. For ducking under high profile Even under that? Attacks. Dang, okay, we got another stun dipper? <laughs> well, I don't have a hit with it, but... Making this a great choice for mixing up a blocking opponent. Whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta take a look at that again. Did that, was that a cross-up? Chaos summons a double of himself while retreating backward placing this wait did i use health costs a small amount of health that's interesting i like how there's different poses of time or after taking the thing that i want to see is how much he can actually take like how much the the they can actually take and gain some time to replenish your ammo or concentration that's pretty cool curse chaos throws a ball forward what although it does not cause damage or knock the opponent back on hit it temporarily increases the accuracy of Chaos's shots after making contact oh. with the opponent. Oh, that's scary. As Chaos moves backward during this move, it can also work well to create distance. Hmm. You have to be wary considering it don't do damage, though. Chaos fires countless bullets with this powerful attack. This move this super looks pretty cool. concentration to activate. As oh, use concentration. At the opponent's current position, you can hit them from oh, distance. that's interesting. It will cause an area shift. So you can't cross them up with it. As it reloads bullets on activation. And it reload well bullets. You are low on ammo. That's actually very good. So it reloads bullets Super for him too. Focus. So it's very good for okay. Chaos focuses his spiritual energy to recover all of his concentration. Mm -hmm. For a certain duration after activation. Chaos's concentration will decrease at a slower rate, mm. allowing him to perform powerful attacks using his gunfire. So, he, due to the limited recovery he of this cancel attack, it from he dust. Can after oh, that's a violation. To keep up your offense. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Happy Chaos can attack at any time. This character so looks very freeform. Using his fire attack. The, this Use this character looks very freeform. Or overwhelm them with intense strength. This character may be mit his Oh my god. Fire. This character may be kind of annoying to deal with. By concentration and ammo. I like it though. I like the direction they're going. Shield and prevent the opponent's approach with standing Here, normal. Slash. When you're running low on concentration, use his overdrive super focus. Similarly, Deus Ex Machina. Man, he looks like he could play so many. He could play zoning or like you know go in. The current situation. It really looks like he, his normals don't look that bad either. Like his far slash, that like punch looking move looks pretty good. I think the character looks mad good though. Not gonna lie, I think he looks really good. Every character in this game always has like you know their unique appeal to them, and I feel like every character is strong within their own right. This character just looks like he's going to be able to do things, obviously, that other characters aren't going to be able to do. Uh, one thing we saw, he was able to combo off dust when they were showing the shots like this. He was, like, doing, like, crouching attacks, and he was able to combo from the dust. So, he could fire at any point uh, from the air, from dash. And it seemed like he could cancel from it, like, into fire from, like, uh, specials and stuff, like, from the roll or air dashes, like, immediately. Like, like, like he could cancel the actual, like, whiff recovery or recovery of things into the shot itself so he can like sort of make himself safe in those approaches it's very weird it's like even though you're supposed to have recovery during your dash it looks like he's able to like shoot from that and stuff like that there's one time right here like here but he's sure right here where you combo from the dust right here bam and it shoots and it start going into a combo that's going to be insane uh the fact that he can use fast dust and actually get combos that's going to make his mix up a little bit more viable just period just the fact that he got something like that at disposal um you know fast dust isn't it's a little bit fast it's not crazy but it is re like slightly reactable but it is going to be faster than charged us and um you know this is going to allow him to just do some crazy things but the fact that he can get a combo of that as long as he has some bullets and some concentration when they showcase the roll right here and then the roll actually went through and he immediately changed the roll into a shot i think that is what was the tell of like he can cancel from so like right there like the shot wasn't even off completely if we look at that again looks really crazy let's do the playback speed it's like he shot before he even recovered from the roll right um right here so we see that bam he like shot from behind really cool how he angles his gun in different ways they, they really nice attention to detail by the way when he uh with stuff like that he angles his gun in different ways depending on where he's at so that's really cool that that happens like that so if that is cross up getting past cross up protection that is going to be a tricky mix up indeed that he can definitely utilize which is going to be very scary to deal with uh you know you got to deal with roll dust and just him just doing like this insane pressure um just period with this stuff and of course the other one has the guard crush on it as well the orange one that we've seen inside the trailer the scapegoat looks interesting too I, the thing i want to know about the scapegoat is how much hits it can actually take so we can see that it like it takes like one single hit but i wonder if it's a multi-hitting attack does it like still eat those like what if i want to say like what if you do this and a kai does like ride the lightning right does kai ride the lightning just straight up lose to him using scapegoat this would be something that would be interesting because we see that it eats hits and the way he hits it looked like it's like zato's from like the trailer we've seen it looked like it stays in front of him but because it's in front of him you can't hit him at all it's just going to hit that thing in front of him so that makes it very strong in that aspect if that is the way it's going to be done like if it's going to be done in that way like how zato's is where you just can't hit the actual character you have to hit the actual the thing in front of him first that's gonna be pretty strong like you see it stops the momentum of of soul right here so maybe it is gonna be like Kai's, but kai's does hits while it's going so i wonder if the first hit will like stop him and then the next hit will like just um just keep going but it's gonna be very interesting but the fact that the scapegoat is there it also means i wonder how long it lasts because it also means they can't just run through it so their approach has to be from the air at that point or they can't get through it or something like that or they have to hit it but if they try to hit it, then you could sit in the position and try to wait for a whiff punish. So it's going to make some for some weird, um, really cool mind games with this character. This this character is going to be like a, a crazy layer. I can't wait to see if people come up with. He comes out in like a few days too, or a day or something like that. So it's going to be definitely crazy. This, yeah. I can't wait to try him out for sure. I know everybody in the mother is going to be trying him out. But I can't wait to get my hands on this character. And just see what other people do too. Because new characters are definitely a fun time in the game. Outside of first period of the game, when the game first come out, everybody's learning the game at the same time. New characters are also the next best thing uh, when it comes to 
fighting games you know just learning new characters and stuff like that when they come out being excited for new characters and what they bring to the game and of course balance change is also nice too did you see the may nerf wait did they nerf may were there balance changes wait the way her heavy dolphin work was a bug so they fixed it are you serious so she's not gonna be doing crazy 100 damage no more dang you love to see it you love to see it